welcome to this abstract. We all know that bio oil from microalgae is an area of current research interest. The process of making bio oil from microalgae is quite simple to describe. Nevertheless, there are no commercial plants across the world that utilize this process to produce bio oil from microalgae. That is essentially because there are very many challenges to this particular process. If we focus on the upstream side, we can consider getting sufficient cell concentrations as well as getting each cell to have a sufficient amount of bio oil in it as two major challenges. In this particular work, Kavya Menon, Ranjani Balan and I have looked at some aspects of this. Now let us look at stress. People have considered various kinds of stresses to improve the yield of bio oil or the productivity of bio oil from microalgae. When we think of stress, the first thing that comes to mind is its relationship to the reactive species. In this work, we focus on the reactive oxygen species and especially the hydroxyl species and the superoxide species. In fact, we propose to use the specific level of these reactive species or the amount per cell as quantitative markers of stress irrespective of the means that are used to create the stress. And um, one of the first questions that comes to mind is the reactive species react very fast. So, if the reactions are so fast, how can they be considered as markers or something? Nevertheless, uh, we have found that these have provided us very useful quantitative information in our studies done earlier. And this uh, difficulty can be resolved by considering the pseudo steady state aspects. And since these reactions are so fast, you can consider them to be at pseudo steady state levels in comparison with the kinetics of slower processes such as metabolic processes or growth process. In this work, uh, we have considered two conditions that are perceived to cause stress. One is different nutrient level and also different frequencies or wavelengths of light causing stress. The model system in this particular study is uh, chlorella vulgaris. Cell concentration with, was a specific hydroxyl and specific superoxide reasonably linear. Something interesting happens in the case of uh, neutral lipid levels too. Let us just look at neutral lipid levels versus specific hydroxyl levels. When all the data are put on the same graph, there is a relationship that we see and there are other interesting results in the manuscript. The findings provide a step for us to rationally design the stress based strategies for improving bio oil yields from microalgae possibly. And personally, there are more interesting results, you know, such as questioning what exactly stress is, the very notion of stress. Kavya, Ranjani and I warmly invite you to read the paper. In fact, we have made special efforts to make the paper easily readable. The title is Stress Induced Lipid Production in Chlorella vulgaris Relationship with Specific Intracellular Reactive Species Levels. And uh, I need to acknowledge the funding that was provided by the Department of Biotechnology, Government of India, the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India, and the Divashri Fellowship by Shrikumar Surinarayan, a distinguished alumnus of IIT Madras. Happy reading.